everyone, what's going on? My name's Jordan, also known as Scraps, and today I'll be guiding you through an old favorite synth of mine called Crow. I know I've talked about in the past about Crow Talker, uh, kind of an adaptation of the synth before this one, but um, yeah, so I thought I would show you a favorite patch of mine called Crow. Have a listen to a demo example and in a few minutes we'll get started on how to make it. So for now I'm going to play a few uh, examples. I'm going to be playing C2 to C3, so uh, I guess I'll just give you a little bit of an example of what the modulation wheel can do along with this patch and the keys I play. It's a unique, interesting synth, but I feel like I can show you... When I show you this patch, you'll know exactly, oh, I can use this synth that you taught me uh, for a <laughs> for a song I'm working with, or whatever. Or, you know, background synth. Just something, you know. Anyways, uh, for now, I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to right-click, since I use a PC mouse on a Mac. And makes it a lot easier instead of holding down control and uh, right clicking. And, uh, let's see, control, yeah, control and clicking, not alt. Anyways, I'm gonna right click, create, or control click, and go to utilities and create a combinator. In this combinator, I'm going to create a subtractor. Now, this subtractor is going to be a little bit crazy to start to mess with things, but I'll guide you however way I can. So, we're going to start in the modulation range right in this area. So, let me zoom in. So, for the, let's see. For the frequency range, let's see, that's probably right. For the frequency resonance, I'm actually going to take that down a bit. So, about... 30 or so. Uh, LFO 1, I want to take it about 10%. Uh, not percent, I'm sorry, just 10. Um, I got a little bit of, um, I got a little bit of annoyance. I'm going to turn up the phase a bit to so about 34 and the FM down a little bit less. Um, I got called out for, uh, I'm going to take the range to 12. <laughs> okay, now I can duck. I got called out a few, like a week ago, about a the way I teach synths. And that is, uh, when I teach synths, it's, uh, it's different. Um, I started calling these numbers percentages. Um, I'm not really too sure what exactly to call them because it just says amount to number. It doesn't say percentage or amount or level. It it doesn't. So I d I just called it percent, and I got some shit for it. So I'm sorry. I guess I I'll try and uh, teach things a little bit cleaner. I guess. Anyways, for the polyphony, we're gonna change that to thirteen. And let's see. Let's tackle oscillator one. So we're going to put this on a neutral format or a negative, uh, that looks, uh, yeah, that's actually negative uh, algorithm. It looks like neutral, but it's actually negative. There's positive above us, negative, and then neutral is the O. Let me zoom in. Yeah, neutral is this like O symbol. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Had a bit of yogurt. Um. 
So I'm gonna change it to the negative symbol. I'm gonna take it down two octaves. Oops, that's semi. I wanna take the cent down to negative three. I wanna turn up the FM amount to 64 or 65, however close you can get that. Uh, for our oscillator two, I wanna turn it on and take it down two octaves and just leave it. For our LFO one, I wanna turn it to sync. I wanna take it to one eighth. I wanna take the amount and just leave it at zero. And for the amount, I'm gonna take it, uh, I'm sorry, for the destination, I'm gonna take this to filter frequency one. Okay, so for our filter, we're going to take it below about filter frequency 56. So the amount is 56. Um, take it to low pass, ladder filter, about 24. Turn the keyboard knob all the way. We want that to follow every step. For our amp envelope, we leave it. So after this, we right click or control click. I'm going to go in my RV7000 advanced reverb. I'm not gonna mess with any of the parameters. There's take everything halfway, then the decay. After this, I'm gonna create an MC class equalizer. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch it up a bit. I'm gonna do a line six bass amp. It does the same thing, um, just a lot less controls to mess with, which is nice, very crisp. So, let's see. Okay, so after this, I'm going to create a Scream 4 distortion unit found in Creative Effects. You can right click, like right click or control click to create that. Make sure you click on the instrument above it so that way it auto routes. Okay, so you can right click on the instrument above you and go to Creative Effects and Scream 4 so that way it auto routes and you don't have to mess with any of the routing. It's very uh, useful and it also saves a bunch of time. For the damage amount, I'm gonna go to 40. For the warp, I'm sorry, for the type of filter, we're gonna go to warp and turn P1 and P2 all the way up. Turn on body, take the resonance all the way down. Let's see, is it? Turn it to four, so all the way down, all the way to four, turn auto and scale to 64 or 63. And turn it to type B. After this, we're gonna create a pulverizer. And this pulverizer, let me see. I just turned up the dirt a little bit. Make sure that filter goes to squash, then dirt. And turn up the release a little bit more. Let's see, take the peak a little bit halfway, more than halfway, so about 58. And let's see, turn the tremor frequency to about, I wanna say a quarter, but that's not right. So about 65% is three quarters. Do that for the follower rate, so 65%. And uh, do it for the follower as well, but leave it a little bit less than that, so about 54%. Turn up the threshold halfway for the follower, and turn up the release about a little bit more than a quarter. Turn on sync for the tremor. Turn the rate all the way to, let's see, one fourths. Turn the spread on. And let's see, turn it to a saw, a rising saw. So waveform sawtooth for that. After this, we're gonna create an MC class equalizer, an MC class maximizer, and a line six base amp. So right click or control click. Studio effects, line six base amp. For the equalizer, I'm gonna turn on low cut, parameter one, parameter two, and high shelf. For parameter one, I'm going to take it about 200 hertz or so, 205, gain down, Q mostly up, but not quite, so 11.7 for this Q. For parameter two, I'm gonna take about, let's see, yeah, about 407 hertz, gain down, Q all the way up. High shelf, take the frequency down to three kilohertz. 
take the gain about 2.3 and turn the Q to 0.5. Turn on soft clip, take off limiter, then turn the amount of soft clip all the way up, so 127. Turn the release to auto, and turn on the compressor. Now, if we have a listen, we should have something similar for the exact copy. Okay, so there's actually one step I skipped, that is the RV7000. I forgot to check and go over exactly how this is made. And it turns out I didn't even mess with anything, I just turned on the EQ. So it's not exactly the quite correct patch, um, but it's pretty darn close. So, um, I'm just going to wrap it up at this. I will see you guys Wednesday for another synth creation. Probably in Ableton. Um, reason is fine and all for sound design and sound creation. It's just that when you don't venture out of your own comfort zone, you can't really know or how to interpret. Uh, other people will start to learn this information. So, um... I'm just going to guide you through the next tutorial. It should be quite simple. It's not very hectic and it shouldn't be that complex to understand. If I can understand it, anybody can understand it. I'm literally saying that because I have a disability and a lot of people don't really understand how to talk to me. If I had my camera turned on, I would be waving and flailing about because that's that's just part of who I am that's how I understand things a little bit more that and a lot of references to synonyms and things like that and an antonym anyways so on Wednesday I'll be guiding you how to create another synth if you guys want me to upload those patch please let me know in the comment section below I hope you guys have a wonderful um, two days before I see you guys again and uh, have a great two days. Make sure today, today not to get upset. <laughs> today is uh, the trigger for everybody's sign to get upset or have like weird phone calls. I study a lot of the Zodiac. If you don't believe in Zodiac, then okay, that's, that's fine. But for me, I believe in Zodiac. And for all those who believe in Zodiac as well, be on the, be on the watch out. So... Anyways, I'll see you guys Wednesday.